This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043. The new album is Starcatcher. It's coming out July 21st. They are on tour, coming to the Garden September 12th. Also on the beach at the Sea Here Now Festival in Asbury Park, September 16th and 17th. All the info, GretaVanFleet.com. We have in the studio half of the band. I don't know where the other guys, well, we'll just talk about them behind their backs. We got Jake and Sam Kiska. Um, I spoke with uh, one of you guys, I think right at the end of the pandemic via Zoom, but so much has happened with you guys since then. Uh, the first time you're all in our studio in our old building downtown five plus years ago. Uh, the third album now, Starcatcher, coming out in July. Here's my first really probing type of question for you guys. Here we go. Bring have you, uh, yeah, this is 60 Minutes type stuff. <laughs> um, have you really purchased something that you really didn't need, but you couldn't do it unless you were in Greta Van Fleet? Some really unnecessary expensive item. Like a piece of equipment. It doesn't matter. Could be a car, could be a house, could be, you know, a brush. I have four pianos in my house. Yeah. I uh, I have a U-harp in my house. It's a Gibson-style U-harp, and that thing's probably, it's very expensive. It's from I'll the just 1800s. Leave it at that. You can look it up. Millions of dollars. Yeah. It wow. should be yeah. in a museum. should be, but it's in, it's my house, and I and I play it often. Nice. So we can, yeah, we can kind of... Uh, Kind of emotionally write off all of these, uh, all of these expenses. It's emotional yeah. write off. It's yeah. an emotional write off. We don't okay. have to invest too much in it emotionally. <laughs> uh, tell us some touring highlights over these past few years. Who have you played with on tour that you said maybe? Oh my God, I cannot believe we're on tour with them, or on stage with them, or I met this guy or girl or whatever. Uh, anything come to mind right off the top of your head when I ask you that? I think being right here. <laughs> it's with you, with Jonathan. you, Jonathan. You're so nice, <laughs> no, but, but I do but, not believe you. But keep going. <laughs> but really, I think that uh, a really big one that's kind of uh, developed over the past few years, kind of post-pandemic, uh, has been our relationship with Metallica and uh, you know what those lads do, uh, filling up stadiums. And Is it insane to watch them play? It is. Mm. It's, they've they've had a lot of consistency and they have a lot of passion for what they do and they they take it very seriously and it's very fascinating to watch uh kind of this group of people who have dedicated their entire life to doing what they do and doing it really well yeah one of my favorite live bands ever i mean it's just incredible what they do two and a half hours or whatever it is and, and it, this is not easy music to play obviously mm. you know what i mean it's not four chords i mean there's a lot of stuff going on and they just crush it every single night yeah it's yeah. a lot of work and uh you can tell it's a lot of work, but they make it look easy. Uh, Lars was telling us that he really enjoys listening to uh, Daniel's drum solo. Oh, when okay. When he's getting uh, his massage to loosen up before the show, and then he goes into his practice room and kind of jams out a little bit. And uh, they're very serious as far as uh, their regimens go, and they eat the same things every day, and they're uh, they're right down to it. And you know, if that's something we want to be doing uh, when we're that age, I think that. Uh, that's a pretty great uh, standard to set to. Well, it's a pretty great job. And, it, you know, like, why does anybody retire from touring or playing rock and roll? It's right. like the best job in the world. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, like, I would never retire, but... Um, Usually it's forced <laughs> retirement. Yeah, yeah. probably. I mean, got a point there. Lars yeah. was saying, too, he's like, you know, we're still doing it while we can. He's like, I think we've got a, some years left in us. Yeah, well, look at Mick, Mick Jagger. I mean, yeah. it's incredible. I mean... Um, I've got to ask you about, is this the first time you're playing Madison Square Garden? It is, yeah. Have you been there? Have you ever jammed there before? Or this will be no, the first for everything? This will be the first time we've ever stepped foot in Madison Square Garden. And it's like sort of, you know, the Garden of Eden in a way. Because it's like we grew up watching every amazing artist that we've been influenced by play the garden. You know, like all of them. You, you name it, and that they've played it. That's like the ethos venue of New York. Yes. And so now we get to go, and we get to step on stage, and literally, you know, we get to walk in the footsteps of our heroes. So that's pretty, pretty, pretty prolific. A very, uh, a very uh, specific uh, concert film comes to mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, song remains the same. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. there are others. There are many others. Yeah, they've done so many concert films. They're like the Who's have done some stuff there. And, and Stones. So we're not going to do the a Stones. The Stones did. Uh, what was that? Get your yayas, Get your yayas out. out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're not going to do a concert film there, though. All right. 
So don't film expect it. us to It's not going to happen, Jonathan. We're not going to do it. You got to film it at least, and maybe 10 years down the road or something, you know? Okay, okay I'll yeah. film it. I'll film Re- it. I think retrospective. With your, you know, Olympus, with, yeah, with my whatever, Olympus. right yeah, there. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so I'm just giving you a little heads up. When you get there, you got to walk down the halls, and they have all of these photos. I mean, it goes back, you know, way into the you know beginning, because Madison Square Garden initially is not the building that you will be playing in there was another one so this is a, the oh. newer version of that i mean still old but but you know frank sinatra and like all the people line the hallway that's life yeah wow. so i it's mean Frankie boy oh, do, you, do you guys still I, I have a, i think i know the answer to this do you guys still live in frankenmuth or have you moved on from the, the hometown We've moved to Nashville, actually, right ah. before the pandemic happens. Tell it, me about Nashville. It's very popular these days. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's getting Music more popular. City, you know? That's yeah, what it is. It's brilliant. I mean, so we were just sort of like left Michigan like eight years ago or something like that, and we were on the road for maybe five years. And then yes. We actually, right before, so maybe 2020, was it? Yeah, that we decided, let's take a, a, a break for a sec, and maybe, so we kind of moved into Nashville, and then that's the pandemic. <laughs> It happened directly after that. Crazy. Well, the timing couldn't have been any better. And you kind of need the So you got to move out of the way, and then the pandemic hit. And we're like, right. okay, yeah. now we're we, here. We right. got straight out of school and hit the road, and then we just toured and toured. And when we're, for the little bits of time we weren't like, like touring on the road, we were in the studio. So we would like rent a house for a month and kind of hub out of there. Uh, but then the pandemic started setting in, and we needed a place to actually live because it became quite apparent that this wasn't something that was just going to. Uh, disappear overnight so yeah we, were, we all kind of kind of we didn't really talk uh too much strategy about it but we all moved to nashville so what do you love about nashville um my garden as we, as we <laughs> yes. were talking about uh before. tell us about the garden yeah, yeah. well i have to ma- i'm just kidding. no uh, go i want to hear it i want to hear it it's fantastic well, You're- so, well so nashville is uh right in the middle of the country and it's it's really easy to get to a lot of places. I think and probably initially why the music industry sort of became foundational there because you you're the equidistance between New York and L.A. You know, right, and you're sort of sort of centralized in North America. Atlanta, so. not too far, I yeah. suppose. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and also you have to remember we kind of grew up in farm fields and forests, mm. and uh, so the city life is really hard for us, and uh, we spend plenty of time in cities. Uh, just touring right He's staying in hotel rooms yeah going on a bus to venue to venue and nashville evades that sort of um st- that that stipulation in a way because it's 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 very much embraced the sort of the the nature of what it is and nashville's you know surrounded by these sort of rock formations so the city can't really expand anymore they're just sort of building up in this little region is it true what they say that your waiter might be a better guitar player than you absolutely well not for not for, <laughs> not, for, not for jake specifically yeah, no, but not for you i'm not talking about you <laughs> but definitely but, uh, for me i mean so and like everybody yeah, no, everybody's amazing musicians especially so we're in sort of east nashville too and, and east nashville is like very specifically the artist central you know hub i mean it's like it feels like you know that's sort of where the musical movement sort of happens like a hate ashbury or like these sort of it's like that's like the little hub of right. revolution going on where everybody's you walk down the sidewalk on a sunday afternoon and you could hear jamming from this house and from that house and from that house. i love that you know bands playing and, and rehearsing and it's like it's like the whole that whole area hums with the vibration of music. It's like alive and singing is. So yeah, and it's not just music anymore. There's a lot of like film students. Mm-hmm. There's a lot yeah. of uh, photography. There's fashion. There's business. So there's a whole there's a whole like kind of small cultural revolution happening. In the Nashville's areas. really, yeah, I would say, is embraced the arts. I the hear city. there's a lot of bachelorette parties. Too. <laughs> that too, they've embraced that as well. <laughs> Like it's there it's is. like really bad. Like there is there are tons. It is it is stereotypically, you know, it's hilarious because it's true. You can't go downtown without seeing a few bridal parties going, stumbling yeah. down the in, street. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. In, in a lot of ways, Nashville is a business. Like uh, the downtown area is the Nashville like business, of, right? Of essentially tourism. Uh, so we like to stay away from the the beer pedal carts and uh, yeah, yeah. tractor rides, the, the party, <laughs> the party buses, right? Party buses, right. Oons, oons, oons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were recording at this one certain studio, and 
there was no real place to hang out so you just kind of went out front and, and sat and every like 10 minutes it's this party wagon would drive by blasting country music and oh, little man. bit of chicken fry <laughs> uh, 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 the most obnoxious thing it's great um so speaking of the new album you, you did record this in uh nashville correct yes. the new album is a star catcher from greta van fleet we got jake and sam with us all the info greta van fleet.com um who is the master that's what i want to know or is it uh, shrouded i bet you do want to know that uh, i mean that, is you? the master whoever is listening to the song and they could You're just translate you know that? <laughs> and then just that's your master or is it yeah. god is it religion what are we talking yeah, about that, i think that was kind of the idea spirituality with, with and the fi- this figure is it's, it, it i think it was and josh intended it to be when he was sort of lyrically constructing this to be a f- not only just like a physical figure but a concept and sort of a philosophy so i think that the master is sort of a uh, a structure of what a belief is or a religion could or be your girlfriend a, could be your girlfriend could be your wife yeah. could be your ex-wife right? yeah. <laughs> yeah true you know so I think that's it is it's totally subjective because it's like it depends on what the viewer is, is perceiving right. it to be. It, could be it could be God it could be uh could be Alan Watts. Alan Watts. Yeah, it could know. be a cult Who's leader. It could like... be a priest. Exactly. I love the song, and I want to play it here in a second. But it's a really sort of psychedelic. Um, the video too. Where did you guys shoot the video? That was really an interesting location. It was somewhere out, to, somewhere out towards sort of south, south Nashville, somewhere okay. in the Franklin area, between that and like um, a state park over there. I can't remember the name of it. Um, and it, they just opened up. It's like 140 acres of land, and they're going to do some sort of nature park there. But they haven't started building, so it's just this plot of land. And we were the first people to come in there and do any project or anything or any filming. It's really cool. It's medieval. You're yeah. you're carrying swords, <laughs> and there's fog and everything. And fire. It's, it's romantic. Was it a very long and tedious video shoot, or was it one day and wrapped uh, and you're they, good to I go? I would say it's very. It was very. I wouldn't, it wasn't tedious. It was very fast moving, very exciting. And uh, the other unforeseen uh, element that really worked to our advantage was it was sunny, it was cloudy, it was rainy, it was clear. So that we got all of these different looks in one day. Lighting, yeah, totally. Yeah, and that's yeah. why nobody shoots film. No, there's no film, real film industry in Nashville because of the weather. Right. It changed. Like, it's wait all, five minutes, it'll change, right? Right, exactly. But this time, it really worked to our advantage. We're like, okay, it's raining really hard, and there's lightning, and we can't shoot right now, because that's the law. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. let's go inside the barn and shoot some projector stuff. And so we did some projector stuff with our face. So we uh, kind of were bound creatively, which really makes for uh, an interesting uh, outcome. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the cool thing is, like, you know, as you know, we sort of are involved with every step of uh, the process that we do musically and in terms of sort of direction as well. So the idea that this music video is really preconceived, there was a lot of premeditation behind it. We had shot lists, we had, you know, storyboards, storyboards, everything yep. laid out, you know. And so it was like, okay, let's go and do this in, in one day, you know. And it was pretty amazing. It was really amazing. Uh, and now a song about capes, I think. Some uh, some guys are wearing capes on stage. I know Josh does Sacred the Thread, or <laughs> Sacred is the Thread, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Uh, tell us about this song. It's about his jumpsuits. Yeah, uh, I always come out and Which say are famous, it. are legendary at this point. They are. They've they've grown, grown an audience of all of their own, you know. I, yeah, I think uh, it's about a lot of things. Uh, I sound like such an artist. It's about yeah. a lot of things. It's an like artiste. It's, it's like <laughs> no, but really, I think I think the literal meaning behind the whole thing is uh, kind of creating yourself as you as we go out on stage. Kind of specifically for us, is you kind of have to change uh, when you go out on a stage right, in front not, of ten thousand. Not become people. a different person, but a personification of yourself. In a yeah. Precisely. So I think that if somebody wants to take uh, away the specific meaning for themselves is it's like who are you in all these different uh, in, in these different scenarios? I think what, the, and what, yeah. what are you when uh, you want to do something great or you're preparing to do something important? I think the song is also a bit about becoming your own hero. Yeah. Okay. I love it. We're going to play that right now. It's Greta Van Fleet. We got Jake and Sam from the band uh, with us. They are on tour, coming to the Garden, September 12th. And uh, the Asbury Park See Here Now Festival, September 16 and 17. The new album, Everyone Go Out and Buy It, Starcatcher, coming out July 21st. All the info, GretaVanFleet.com. I can't wait to go to the Garden and see you guys just shred. Yes. Is it actually a garden? 
Is there a garden um, there? Is there are gardens around it. It's <laughs> called Madison Square Garden. Oh. Maybe there was oh, yeah. a, a garden in the back in the day, you know? I don't now know. Now they put on concerts there. Oh. Well, the Knicks play there. The Rangers play there. You know, there are <laughs> political conventions there. Oh, that's wow, what we're that's doing. A, yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. We'll be, we'll be, we'll, we're yeah. political convention. Yeah. That's what we're doing. <laughs> You'll play anywhere. No, just kidding. Sure, anywhere. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Who, who cares? You name it. You name it. Grubhub? Can you swear on this? Why not? <laughs> Say hi to Josh and Daniel for us. Uh, we miss them. We'll get them here Hello, next time. Hello, Josh and Daniel. They couldn't make it. They had. Uh, they're they're predisposed. Yes. Okay. Got it. Got That's it. True. Uh, listen, they got the, a flight from PNA in Nashville, and we're supposed to land in LaGuardia, New York, and they ended up somewhere else. No way. Aruba. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Not I'm Aruba, sorry. Well, sick. sorry, guys. Uh, but listen, the new album is great. The new songs sound fantastic. I Thank wish you the best of luck. Stay Thank healthy. You, Stay happy. Thank we'll you, see sir. you uh, shredding uh, on the tour. Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you. We'll see you out there. This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043.